Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crochet washcloth using the crunch stitch. In the original pattern, I used um, Lily Sugar and Cream in uh, Coral Sea Ombre. For this example, I'm using, with an H hook, this example I'm using um, Coral Rose and an H hook. The um, crunch stitch is an easy stitch um, alternating slip stitch with half double crochet. You need an odd number for the pattern. For the washcloth, I used 41. So I'm going to chain 41. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and then I'll be back. Okay, now that I have 41, or um, any odd number would work, I am going to slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, slip stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Then one half double crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and insert through all three loops. And then you're just going to alternate slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, until you get to the end of the row where you're going to end with a slip stitch. And I will repeat until the end. Okay, so we're back at the um, end, close to the end, and slip stitch, then a half double crochet, and then your last stitch, like I said, is going to be a slip stitch. So you slip stitch, then you're going to chain two, and turn your work. So this um, chain two counts as your first stitch, and you are going to slip stitch in the next stitch, which is the half double crochet from the row below. So it's going to alternate. Every time there's a half double, you're going to do a slip stitch, and every time there's a slip stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet stitch. And then you're going to just repeat this across. And this is going, you're going to repeat row two for the rest of the pattern until you have the length you want, or I like to make my um, washcloth square. And you just keep repeating. And then I'll show you at the end where you put your last stitch. Okay, so when you get to the end, um, you have what looks to be like one stitch left, but you have this and then the chain. So you do slip stitch, followed by a half double crochet, and then in the where you chained, that's where your last slip stitch goes. One slip stitch, and then you chain two and turn. And then you'll just keep repeating row two until um, you have the um, height you want or a square. Um, you can find this pattern and um, the ear warmer on my blog, A More Crafty Life. Thank you for watching.
Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a double thick crunch stitch pot holder. I'm using an F or a five um, crochet hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter. And Lily Sugar and Cream um, Cotton Yarn Worsted Weight. This is tangerine. For the original pattern, I used coral. Okay, for this pattern, you need an odd number, and I used 35. So the first thing I'm going to do is chain 35. Okay, so after you have your 35, um, you are going to slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. And slip stitch is just insert your hook and pull through the loops. And then a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. And then this is your pattern. Slip stitch, half double crochet. So you're going to finish this. You're going to repeat this until the end, ending with a slip stitch. So in the slip stitch again, um, you insert your hook, you pull through a loop, and you pull through the loop on your um, hook. Then half double crochet. This pattern, um, the crunch stitch makes a tight um, stitch with um, few holes. It's easy to do, but it's not particularly fast because um, the height of the slip stitch makes you don't gain um, height very fast, but it's easy to do. And it works great for something like a pot holder where you want it to be nice and thick so you don't burn yourself. And I use a smaller hook on this to um, make sure that, that there isn't um, many holes. There isn't any holes. And you're going to make two of these squares. So you just keep repeating this until the end and I'll show you at the end. Okay, so I'm at the second to the last stitch. You do a half double crochet and then you do a slip stitch in the last one. Then you're going to chain two and turn. So one, two, and I turn my work. And then I'm going to slip stitch on top of the half double crochet I did the row below. So this here would be the slip stitch I did. And then this is the half double crochet. So then I'm going to slip stitch on top of it. Then I'm going to do a half double crochet on top of the slip stitch from the row before. And then that you're just going to alternate that. And you know you've got the right stitch if it's if it's um, opposite. You put your half double crochet on top of the slip stitch and the slip stitch on top of the half double crochet. So here's my half double crochet. The next one's a slip stitch. And you just keep repeating until the end of the row. And this is, um, you repeat the second row until you have um, 38 stitches. 
And at the end, you always chain two. And you will end with a slip stitch. Okay. So you just keep repeating. Half double crochet, slip stitch. And this is what your pattern starts to look like. Um, then you, once you've got one um, square done, you will leave a long tail and then you will make a, dot, a second one, the same size. Then use the long um, tail of yarn to um, sew it together or whip stitch it. And you'll have a double thick crunch stitch pot holder. You can see the full pattern plus pictures on my blog, A More Crafty Life. Thanks.